time for Space Chat. Joining me live for all the news of the week is Brad Tucker, astrophysicist and cosmologist at ANU. Um, just letting you know as well, we've got coming up Scott Morrison any moment. We'll take you to him live. Uh, no offence, Brad, once that news conference begins after National Cabinet. So um, stand by for Scott Morrison. But, Brad, um, some happy snaps this week from the Mars rover. You've been, uh, well, showcasing these. Yeah, look, it's been quite awesome to uh, see these uh, these cloud formations, essentially, that we saw from the Mars rover. In fact, it's not even Perseverance's latest rover uh, on Mars. It's Curiosity, the uh, older rover, older but not forgotten, let's say. Uh, and Curiosity spotted these clouds. Now, why this is kind of cool is we've only rarely have seen clouds on Mars, right? There's not a lot of water on the surface. Most of that's contained underneath. We've only seen it also at the poles. And when Curiosity got ready to snap these clouds, and they almost look like you could have taken this uh, on Earth and how it is. Don't they? Um, yeah. Yeah, it, but when they snapped it, they realized it actually formed a little bit earlier. So Mars does have seasons, so this cloud formation happened a little bit earlier in the season. But in particular, it's what they're made up of that's quite cool. Because most of the atmosphere of Mars is carbon dioxide, these are actually carbon dioxide clouds. So it's essentially clouds of dry ice, which is kind of a really trippy thing to think about. 